Hernandez, Bob in the Showgram on G105. Online at bobintheshowgram.com. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Mike Morse. Elvis Shepard. I'm so freaking excited to be here. You don't even know. You don't even know. Okay, so. You guys come on in. I'm going to tell you a whole story here. Okie dokie, baby. I've been listening to you already. Have you? So, absolutely, I'm going to kiss you. Are we going to get a picture? Oh, we're videoing. We're videoing. Okay, first of all, we can't. If we make out, it's going to mess up my lip gloss and stuff. (laughs) But let's see, and I'm not going to have anything to do with lit toes. Oh, she's been listening. Honestly, I'm so freaking excited right now. Your head turned like 10 shades of red the minute she walked in the door. Oh my God. You got all giddy? Here's why. You know what? I've been watching you for a long time. I mean, before moonlighting and all that stuff, I mean, and I've always thought you were just... When I was a kid, I used to think, God, she is so hot. Mm-hmm. And then and then moonlighting, and then you're cute, and then, you know, through everything, and you're still cute. You're still cute. Thank you so much. I didn't notice you turned take it, red. Take off your sunglasses for a minute, will you? Oh, it's so bright. No, come on. I'm on East Coast time. Look at your still so time. pretty. Open your eyes. Am I awake? Kristen, do you feel like this is an awkward first date? Like when they're just a little bit. A little bit. Whatever. <laughs> So I had to call my wife this morning to ask her if I could kiss you. What did she say? She said yes. Mm-hmm. Because if I kiss you, and I'll, I'll tell about why you're in town and all that crap here in a minute, but right now. <laughs> so I said, I, is it okay if I kiss her and can I kiss her on the lips? And because if that happens, um, then I will have kind of, I'm a big Elvis fan. Oh, so yeah, if, aren't we if, all? If I kiss you, you're probably a bigger fan than I was, or you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I kiss you, I kind of kissed Elvis. Oh, I know, and everybody wants to kiss Elvis. Because that degrees of separation. Will you kiss me? Uh, yes, I will. In the mouth? In the no mouth. No tongue, no tongue, <laughs> just in the mouth. On the, uh, yeah, just on the lips. Say that, not in the mouth. We don't use mouth, but we just say on the lips. Whatever. Well, um, I'm working up to it. I find you very attractive. Yeah, You're very it. warm and yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, let's get to know each other a little bit. Maybe like, we can I steal I the really, deal with I just want to go what I want. I just want to get what I want, <laughs> and then we can sit and... <laughs> Chitter chatter about whatever. Look, he turned about. into such a prepubescent boy knowing you were coming in here. He even got a little bit of a zip. I got a zip. <laughs> I'm 24. Look at that. What the hell is that? It's like before the prom. Well, one of the things you need before you kiss Elvis is you need to have a fried peanut butter banana sandwich. I've had one. Sandwich. I've already had one. But I, I would, haven't had one today. That's what we're well, we up right. to it. Oh, wait. Okay. You know, let's just kiss and get it over with. Now? No, later. Guess now. Okay. I, I need a little, you know. You know what? We're, I'm not, we're not doing foreplay. We're no, going right for the meat. Do, do foreplay. Right for okay, it. Okay, let's let's cater to the woman's needs for once, Bob. A woman needs a little bit of foreplay here. All right. Thank you. Oh, I love so, uh, let's do what, that. What'd you do today? <laughs> um, <laughs> there you go. Do have a little duet. Uh-oh, do it. You want to dance? Holy food. Y'all dance? Is that a no? Sing that. She's warming up. Carry him. Falling in love. Falling in love. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I ain't warmed up yet. I desecrated that Mr. Elvis song he just did then. I know they're crazy. Over there. He was so great. He was so great. I loved him so much, and um, I could have been a best friend of his if he had lived a little longer. Because we're both from Memphis, yep. and we felt so comfortable in Memphis. Are you? Um, I, I don't know. You probably went to Graceland when he was still alive. I guess. Yes. But when you know, my wife took me there um, for a birthday gift, and I was honestly, I was kind of let down. Yeah. I was very let down. Well, I wasn't let down because um, when I went there, I didn't think it was such a special thing, yeah. even to have a date with him, because it was 1973, and I was like into the Beatles. Yeah. But boy, I really had a good time once I got there. I bet you did. <laughs> How did you guys meet? Well, actually, there was a DJ, a George Klein, who also started my career when I was Miss Teenage Memphis as the I- MC, and he kept calling me, he said, Elvis wants to meet you, and I said, well, uh, he's got to call me himself. And he's got to pick me up himself. 
Good for you. So I was over at my best friend Jane's house, and the phone rang, and she picked up. She said, some, some weirdo is acting like he's Elvis. I said, actually, it is him. <laughs> and she covered the mouthpiece and said, take me with you. <laughs> Which I did. Did you really? Yes. First time I met, met him was with 50 of his closest friends oh, okay. at a movie theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. were waiting for him to get there, and finally the lights dimmed, and suddenly someone's coming down the aisle. And, and everybody moves one seat over. He sits next to me. <laughs> he says, how you doing, darling? <laughs> and he pulled back his shirt and showed me his 38 and said, I take this baby wherever I go. <laughs> so wow. I guess, I, I don't know, he was protected, right? Wow. Yeah, I, I, broke, I broke through it, though. Dixie Mafia, I tried to tell everybody about that, but, mm -hmm. you know, people don't really understand that. I was telling uh, this morning that um, when I was, like, probably eight years old, at a trampoline. And uh, only one in the, in the neighborhood that had a trampoline. So everybody come jump on the trampoline. But there was a day when I wouldn't let anybody come jump on the trampoline. And it was like every Saturday. Because I would take my Elvis records and I would put this right hand to God. And I would put my, uh, my Elvis records on and I would open the window because we didn't have extended uh, Yeah, extension songs. cords, yeah. And I would listen to Elvis, and I would jump on my trampoline and try to do Elvis stuff all the time. Hello, Harry. Well, hello, Louis. Say, Bobby. It's so nice to be back home where I belong. Da 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 da. Okay. Nice. Come here, kiss me. Ah, ah, ah! Here it comes. Ah. <laughs> that was cheekage. It was cheekage. I'm gonna need lip. Oh, okay. then, then use your own on yourself. Come on, I'm really gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have lip. No, you can't force a If well, you can't kiss, kiss me on the lip, I'm gonna have to tackle you. No, and I don't, don't want to tackle, tackle you. Tackle. Okay, uh, now I'm Come excited. Right here. To Come on, ta don't tackle, tackle this. Tackle, tackle me. Tackle, tackle. I'm gonna this tackle. I want to tackle. Just close your eyes. What if you have some kind of bug? I don't have any bug. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Some lip gloss? You're creeping me out standing over top of her like yeah, this. Yeah, sit down and we'll talk about it. I need a little more time. Uh, that that was a warm up kiss. That just, was a just one kiss. I'll close my eyes. I'm going to have to have Elvis kiss right in the lips. <laughs> Come on. Come yeah. on. I'll have to see what the song is first. He's hell bent on getting a kiss from you. Close your you eyes. You have to have you a favorite. My favorite. Yeah, what's your favorite? Elvis song is this one. Is it? Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> Do you miss me tonight? Y'all can see this. It's gone video. Oh, you sorry. Oh, no, she's turning. Drifted. Oh, it's working, Bob. It's working. Uh -oh. It's working. She's putting her arm around. Uh -oh. It's working. Play by play. Sybil, uh -oh. standing up. Oh, Pretend like it's. <laughs> she's got Bob by the face. Leave. We have lifted. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! I think I just got excited for you. I just got Elvis lips. <laughs> Woo! You got better lips. Than you got you got better uh. lips. You know, that was my favorite song of Elvis. That just got me right into it. There it is. That's, that's what you needed. Got him all sweaty and crazy. <laughs> I think I'm a little creeped out about the fact that you just got a kiss from like an unbelievably hot woman. I know. And all you think about, about is Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I got a hot woman at home, but I ain't got Elvis at the house. Why is this? I think you're more excited about Elvis than I me. am. I, no, well, no. Has I'm I am. I told you, I'm a big fan. I watch Sybil. I was going to ask about... Uh, uh, Baranski, the girl, she was very sweet. I was going to ask about great. all that. But I really had to get across this. Get, that out of the way. get it out of the way. You're right. just so okay, consumed now. with it. Now we've got now that we out talk. of the way. Right. Now we can talk. So that's what I needed to do right from the get-go. <laughs> from the giddy-go. But again, um, appreciate the woman. She needed, you needed wow. a warm-up. You can't just... That was crazy. All humans, that's all you want to do is just get right to it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's do it and then we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs>